It's enough to make you wonder if it's getting any better. Coming off a record number of homicides in 2023, Greensboro has already had 10 of them in just the first two and a half months of this year. Two of the victims were shot and killed just this past weekend at the Culture Lounge on Spring Garden Street. Officers haven't arrested anyone in that case, and just about everyone remembers the shooting last November outside the now closed electric tequila bar and grill on Battleground Avenue. Thankfully, no one died in that case, but police eventually made five arrests. And in those shootings and others, it's up to a team within the Greensboro Police Department to learn about the weapons used and if they're connected to other violent crimes. Good evening. This is the Fox 8 10 o'clock news. I'm Neil McNeil. I'm Katie Nordeen. All that work is done at the Greensboro Gun Crime Intelligence Center. It is a top priority for Police Chief John Thompson. Fox 8's Cassie Fambro spoke to two officers who work with that unit. Cassie, the five arrests in the electric tequila shooting were a result of this work. Yeah, Katie and Neil, they had 116 rounds uncovered at the electric tequila crime scene on Battleground Avenue, and they investigated each and every one of those. I want you to take a look at some of the markings on these bullets. These are called striations, and each striation or mark helps the authorities find out what gun it was fired from. It's like a fingerprint, and that's how they learned which 14 firearms were used in the shootout. One, you shouldn't have a firearm at large gatherings. Let's just start there. November 2023, Greensboro police say hundreds of shots were fired at electric tequila off Battleground Avenue, causing injuries and damage. March 8th, 2024, more than 100 people gathered for a night out at Culture Lounge on Spring Garden Road. Then the shooting started and two people were killed. What you see is innocent bystanders getting shot because the gun is not stable. Um, it's not been installed by a manufacturer. It doesn't belong on the weapon. And thus you have um, basically rounds going all over through the crowd. Captain Anthony Price is talking about modified firearms. Guns that have been altered to shoot automatically, which is illegal. There's no question about it. We've seen an influx in modified firearms. Warrants show the firearms used at electric tequila included an Armalite style rifle as well as handguns. We found damage from a nine millimeter in the door of the sewing shop next door. It's not necessarily the capacity of a magazine. What it is is the, the ability for the gun to shoot rapidly really fast. Captain Price and his colleague Sergeant Matthew Allred say tracing the shell casings at electric tequila was critical to making five arrests. The shell casings really became almost a, a, like a fingerprint you know, or DNA on the scene of any other crime. So we're able to look at these weapons and determine that they were used in more than one incident in many cases. And of course, their goal is to get those folks off the street with these firearms. They're keeping tabs on gang activity as well. Culture Lounge was identified as a place where gang members as well as electric tequila have been known to be. When asked how Greensboro police identify gang members, Sergeant Allred told me they follow state statutes and once confirmed there are active records on those affiliated with gang activities for all officers to see. Neil. All right, Cassie, thank you. New